should you buy somebody a drone for the Philippines? <laughs> this is, I find this quite amusing actually, but um, a few people have brought it up and I was, because I'll be honest with you, I've been too busy to actually follow anybody's channels and today being Sunday, as you can see, I'm a bit more relaxed because um, this week I've been at auctions and other things, um, haven't really updated nothing. But anyway, should you buy anybody a drone? I'll tell you now, I actually already own a drone. Um, it's under the bed. We don't take it out that much. The big risk with the drones is aviation authority. <laughs> um, you need to understand the laws, regulations, etc. And I don't love my drone. I love flying it. We do take it up over the fields. Um, do I want to fly it over the salt lakes? Do I want to use it in more capacity? Uh, I'll be honest with you. If I trusted it enough, I would. Um, but I would be very wary of the law. And this is where I'm saying in the Philippines, people are going to be very careful on what they're doing, unless they actually understand the aviation rules about flying in built-up areas, etc. And may, people may go, oh, that doesn't uh, count for me. <coughs> you may find that somebody uh, will actually understand the law and may bring it... Um, bring it to you in full force because um, fines with aviation are pretty pretty heavy in the UK some people have had some heavy fines for flying over football stadiums for example because you're not allowed within I think it's 50 feet of a public building this is why when somebody was suggesting one of the companies I was working for on about doing drones for surveying I turned around and says what are you talking about um, because they shouldn't be flying them near the buildings in the first place and all buildings that we deal with are occupied so You've got the problems of car parks, and basically, basically you can't use them. Um, not without breaking some law somewhere, um, which is why I'm a bit cautious of them. Um, but should you buy somebody else one? Um, I, I, I really, uh, if they're really good at flying them, it's a bit like a um, having a, a skateboarding expert. Would I buy them a, a skateboard? Everyone's thought that they needed one to get kickstart them. Um, I may do. Because if that's what they're good at, then yes. But the question is, the person that's looking to receive one, do they know how to fly one? Are they going to take it first flight and end up with it being 50 feet in the sea or something? Um, or even worse, causing a car accident. You know, going up and going up. Because they have these things, like the one I have here has a automatic go home because sometimes they lose their signal. Uh, the one I have has this, what happens is it's got a battery, this isn't the battery pack by the way, this is this is actually for my gimbal. But basically the back door um, is a little bit of pla plastic, so when you put the battery in, sometimes it will fall out. And as the battery pack comes out, you've got the drone trying to level itself off, but obviously it's got this big weight, it's actually pulling it down, and it starts shooting off um, which is where you have a risk because it starts because they auto level and things um, there is a potential of an accident so I would be very wary but purely because where are you going to use it um, like I said I mean here in Spain we've got open fields and all sorts and we don't use it as much as we should do and so I know somebody's going to go oh yeah but you don't go out as much as you should do um, I do go out quite a bit. I don't film as much as I should do. I do actually go out. If you go to my um, oh, what's that? my Flickr account, you'll see this. Well, you won't see the images from this week because I haven't uploaded them yet. But there's some images from the Salt Lake. And the reason I haven't done the video yet is when I recorded it, got home, the SD card was corrupt. <laughs> so that was completely knackered. Um, but it was still a, a nice place to visit. Um, so, yeah, drones... I would say no, no. I don't recommend them. If anything, I would invest in an underwater camera or a um, a V. Uh, uh, what? Hang on a minute. Let me get the terminology. Because funny enough, I'm looking for one of these myself. Uh, underwater. Because there, there's it's a specific three-letter um, code they use for it. And with this high-speed internet, I'll have a response for you in seconds. Uh, a rove, that's it, R-O-V. It's the uh, 
there is some cheap kits out there, uh, but also you can build these things. In fact, I was looking at building one. It's just well, like the problem I have is I've got so much stuff going on. I need to make more money at the moment um, before I start playing with stuff I actually want to do. I've got to do the stuff I need to do before I do the stuff I want to do. Um, but an underwater rove um, could go in the sea and whatever you go out in a little um, banker and have a little scurry around under the water that's more interesting for me um, because the problem with drones what you're going to see oh look I can see a built up area from above okay it's nice don't get me wrong it is nice but like I said I think there's far too much risk with the bloody things um, with the underwater rove they're normally on a um, cable anyway so you can find it you can dive in and recover it um, but if the um, drone goes a wall you may never see it again so my personal viewpoint is unless you actually know the laws and are a capable flyer and know what you're doing I wouldn't just get one out of the box and just start flying it um, and it's, it's not me actually saying you shouldn't do it for the guy it's just that I just don't think that I think there's money better spent in the Philippines, let's put it that way. If you're going to invest in something, I think there's other stuff to buy, which is, is more useful. A gimbal for a motorcycle helmet, for example, so it levels it off as you're cycling around, so it'll constantly keep it straight. Stuff like that. You know, it's cheaper. Can you remember, you buy the, the drone, um, you then buy the camera. That's why I've got two GoPros, because the whole point was, if my, my drone did crash and smash my camera, I actually have two. Um, I actually bought that for that reason. So be aware that the assumption that, oh yes, yeah, the other thing is you upgrade them as well. Mine's got loads of upgrades on it from when I bought it because the first thing you've got is the blades on the, the, the ones that give you are very plastic. So the ones I've got are actually carbon fiber, they're higher quality. I put some rails around the, the outside of them to stop them getting damaged because sometimes if the ground's uneven it will land uneven and as such it digs your blades and it can damage the blades so the easiest way of doing that is put, put, putting these uh, protective rails around that actually sit on the outside of the blades but they do affect the airflow and stuff so I'm saying you don't just buy a drone you've got to understand the things as well All right, because the, the, the rails actually affect the avionics the actual flight flight ability of the because it changes the airflow on the anyway I say no